Hey y'all, I'm Anna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a recipe from my Aunt Loretta and I've actually never even tasted this before. This is brand new to me, but it looks very easy and so delicious. She calls it her Easy Cheeseburger Noodle Casserole. So that sounds amazing and all of the ingredients are right up my alley. So I'm so excited to try this out. And Loretta, thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, I hope that I do it justice and I hope it's as good as yours. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. If you like learning new recipes, then go ahead and click the red subscribe button and that way you won't miss any future videos. All right, y'all, let's get started. All right, here are all of the ingredients. We're gonna start off with three-fourths of a box of tri-color rotini pasta. I've got some sauteed mushrooms. Now her recipe says to use a small can of mushrooms, but I had these on hand, so I went ahead and sauteed those up and that's what I'll use today. We need one and a half pounds of ground beef. This is two pounds, I think, so I won't use all of this. We're gonna need about three cups of cheese that I'll shred, some garlic, an onion, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, three tablespoons of butter, and half a cup of milk. I also have my oven preheating to 350, and I have a nine by 13 inch casserole dish. I'm about to spray that with some nonstick cooking spray. The first thing I'm gonna do is dice up my onion and mince my garlic, and look what I got for Christmas. I got one of these little veggie chopper things, so I'll be using that too. I forgot to mention a minute ago that I have a big pot of water with a good pinch of salt in it coming up to a boil and once it's to a boil, we will add in the pasta. So now I'm adding my clove of garlic. I'm gonna saute this for just a few more minutes until everything is really soft. Now I'm gonna add in three quarters of a box of the tricolor rotini. That was actually probably a little bit more than three quarters of a box, but that's all right. And the recipe says to cook it just according to the package directions. The onions and garlic look perfect to me. I'm gonna add those to my mushrooms for the time being. And now I'm going to saute up the one and a half pounds of ground beef in just the same skillet. Now it's time to assemble everything so that we can get it in the oven. I've got a large bowl, and I'm gonna start with the two cans of cream of mushroom soup and the milk and whisk it really well together. Adding in the veggies. Now the pasta and the hamburger meat. I'm taking a few of these out because I did cook a little too much, I think. So maybe my kids will eat that later. I've been grating up my cheese over here. I don't know how much I have grated so far, so I'll probably add some more. But Loretta said to add about two cups to this mixture and then we'll add one cup on top after it's in the casserole dish. Oh yeah, this is plenty. I'm gonna put this in the casserole dish and then we'll cover it with the rest of the cheese. Thank you. 
This is ready to go into my 350 degree preheated oven for about 30 minutes. All right, it's time for the taste test. I am so excited, this smells incredible. This is amazing. I love this. Okay, listen, you have to make this like right now. Loretta, you are a genius. She actually came up with this recipe all on her own. Um, and I'm just amazed at how good it is. I really hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you try this recipe. I will have it written down below for you. Thank you again so much for spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye.